Hi guys, so look at this question here. Okay, it's a very good question actually. A very conceptual question. We learned uh, some concept through this question also. So on a certain sum, the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest for the second year is rupees thirty six hundred, and the same for the third year is rupees seven seven four zero. What is this sum? Okay. Now let's take this example, right? So just I have done this concept in arithmetic videos also. Okay. Let's just re revise it also right now, and uh, we will uh, for those who don't know, we will study also. Okay. Once more, one more time. So now, if you see uh, here, so I can say that now. Let me take an example, guys. If I say I have a rupees hundred loan from the bank, okay, at the rate of twenty percent per annum, I have taken from the bank, okay. So I can say rupees hundred is my principal amount. If I don't pay at the end of first year, if I don't pay at the end of first year, I need to pay how much to the uh, sorry, I need to pay how much to the bank. So I need to pay one twenty to the bank. That twenty percent interest they will charge at SI at SI. Okay. If I don't pay at the end of second year to the bank, I need to pay for that twenty percent because one forty. So SI is what in SI interest of twenty rupees is fixed. Okay. And if I don't pay at the end of second year also, so in the third year I need to pay one sixty. Right. So here it is and it will go so on. Right. But here it is only till third year. So let's take an example for third year only. Fine. So what will happen? Same at CI, guys. What will happen at CI? Understand this. At CI, again, the principal is hundred rupees. If the same loan I took, if the same loan I took at CI, okay. So if the same loan I took at CI, so what I can say that twenty percent interest will cost me one twenty. Now at CI, interest on interest is charged. So on the, the total interest is charged on this one twenty. Okay. So on one twenty, twenty percent interest will become one forty four. Correct, and then again in for the next year again twenty percent will be charged on this one forty four. So one forty four twenty percent is twenty eight point eight. So it will become one seventy two point eight. Right. There are two things here, guys. Actually, so I understand this. Okay. First year SI is twenty. Second first year CI is twenty. Difference is zero. Okay. First year difference is zero. Okay. Second year SI is twenty. Second year CI is twenty four. Difference is four rupees. Okay. Sec third year SI is twenty and third year CI is twenty eight point eight. But this is twenty eight point eight, right? What is the difference here, guys? Difference is eight point eight. If you add the difference for three years, the total you will get difference as what? Zero plus four plus eight point eight. Total difference is twelve point eight. That is being shown here. One sixty and one seventy two point eight. Total difference is twelve point eight. But the difference for only third year is what? Eight point eight. Only second year is what? Four. This is what been asked here actually. Fine. So now in this question, the difference for second year is thirty six hundred given, right? So can I say can I say that now? Now you can easily understand this, guys. That. Uh, once I once I make uh, make 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 that a small table, okay, which we have studied in the arithmetic videos also. So let's say my total principal is a uh, p rupees, okay. Out of p rupees, I am paying that is p is hundred year. So I am paying twenty rupees every year at least for SI, है ना? So twenty, twenty and twenty. I am paying at the end of first year, second year and third year. हाँ. Let let's say this is the value of a here. A is twenty. A is twenty. Okay, and then I can say that on this twenty rupees here. So what is CI says interest on interest. So in this second year, I am paying this extra four rupees. Why I am paying this extra four rupees? Because first year interest of twenty rupees I didn't pay. So now they will charge me interest on interest from second year onwards. Okay, so on this twenty rupees, on this twenty rupees, twenty percent extra. They will charge me. So twenty percent extra is what four rupees. Okay. Now let's call it B here. Okay. Let's call it B. Okay. Now again, in the in the third year, what will happen, guys? In the third year, again. So in the third year, again, because I didn't pay interest in the first year, that twenty rupees. So that on this twenty rupees, they'll charge me for twenty uh, percent interest here, four rupees. And again on this twenty rupees. They'll charge me a twenty percent interest here, four rupees. Again, the value is same. Let's call it B. Four and four is same, right? That is B. Okay. So that means still now 
I've done the work on this 20 rupees. On this 20 rupees, I've paid 4 rupees penalty that is interest on interest in second year and in third year both. Okay. Now in third year, I need to pay, now this is only compensation for first year interest, right? Because I'm not paying interest uh, loan in first year, I need to pay these things inter, uh, extra, right? CI is interest on interest. So we treat CI as like penalty, okay? So I'm paying four rupees extra because of not paying loan earlier, okay? Now, in the, in the third year, so in the third year now, if this is 20 rupees, this is done, right? This is this part is done. So in on the second in the second year again I didn't pay this twenty rupees. So in the third year again I need to pay a penalty of four rupees. That is again let's call it B. Okay. So for second year twenty rupees again that penalty means interest on interest. Okay. That means again on four rupees I need to pay interest on interest in the third year. And again in second year I this extra four rupees I didn't pay because the total interest was twenty four. This is twenty four year right? This is twenty four. This is twenty four. Okay, so total total interest is 24. So on 20 rupees, 20 percent is 4, and on 4 rupees, 20 percent is 0.8. So let's call it C. Okay, so you can observe here, guys. Okay, that's a breakup. That's a, that's, that's a breakup, right? So in the third year, difference is 12.8. Okay, in the second year, uh, this is because 20, 20, 20 is same, right? You can see that difference is just 4 year. Okay, this, this is that 4. This is that 12.8. Okay. And this is no nothing here, so this is zero. This is that zero here. Okay. So once you understand this, right? So it's, it becomes very simple actually. Now, so now, now let me make this uh, for an, uh, this question now. Okay. So now it 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 solves the purpose for this question as well as for a lot of such questions, right? So very simple here, guys. You can just remember this small thing. Okay. That on P rupees is the main amount. On this, I'm paying R. That that is P rupees is the hundred rupees. On this, twenty percent interest. So 20, 20, 20. So on that P rupees, R percent interest. Then let it call A, A and A in the first, second and third year. Now on this, in the second and th on this A rupees, I'm paying this A on this 20 rupees. How to get that four? That is 20% of this 20 rupees. So on this A rupees, again, I'm paying R percent interest. So R percent interest of this A rupees is B. So this B rupees I'm paying in second year also and third year also because of that first year interest I have to compensate in second and third year also right and if it goes for fourth year then I need to pay this in fourth year also okay now and then for this A I have done this B and B for this again A rupees again I need to pay uh, pay extra 20% as CI is interest on interest in third year so again B rupees for this A okay and for these B rupees, again, I need to pay that extra 20% that is C. That's the funda here, right? Okay. So now what is B here? So I can say that what is A here, guys? A is 20% of P. 20% uh, means I can say that here in general, R percent here. A is R percent of P. And what is C here, guys? Uh, and what is B here? B is R percent of A. Okay. And what is C here? C is R percent of B. No, no, that's the rate percent, right? 100, 20 percent is 20, 20, 20 percent is 4, and 4, 20 percent is 0.8. Okay. So now, once you understand this data, right? So this table, if you understand here, right? This becomes, this makes my job very easier now. Okay. So this is a very important uh, part here. If you understand this now, you can solve such questions with great ease. Okay. So you can always remember two things. Once you can, once you can, when you can solve this question also here and you can remember also to one thing, right? First, let's solve this question. This question here says that, so now difference between the interest, simple interest. So B is the, B is the difference between SI and CI only for second year, like four. So in the place of four, it is B here, right? So four is the difference between SI and CI after second year. So B is the difference between SI and CI after, after second year. And that is given as 3600 years. So I can say that B is equal to 3600. That is B is equal to what? 3600. If B is equal to 3600, so now what I can say guys, if B is 3600, so all B becomes 3600. I can put here. Okay. Now the total difference for only for third year is 7740. Like the difference only for third year is 8.8, .8, right? That's uh, I'm sorry here, guys. This is the this is 8.8. I'm very sorry. This will be 8.8 .8 here. Okay. 
this will be 8.8 okay so this 4 plus 4 plus 0.8 is 8.8 .8. okay so once once you read here 8.8 .8 here so this in instead of this 8.8 .8, okay the total instead of this 8.8 .8, .8, we have this 36 we have this 7740 here that is total is what 4 plus 4 plus 0.8 that is total difference so this is a total difference for only for third year okay so 3600 3600 is 7200 that means C should be 540. Okay, so you can automatically see that C was R percent of B. It satisfies, no? C was R percent of B. It satisfies, right? It satisfies that uh, if C was R percent of B, so C is, you can see here that C C will be what? 15%, what is 540 by 3600? So 540 by 3600 is what? It is 15%. So you can see that it will automatically satisfy now. So if that means R I got as 15% here, that means here also if it is 3600, so what is P, what is A guys now? So B is R percent of A. So if B is equal to 3600, so 3600 is 15% of A. So I can say that A is equal to what? A is equal to, uh, it should be 24,000. Okay, so 24,000, right? So A is 24,000. And again, uh, A is R percent of P. So I can say that uh, 24,000 is 15 percent of P. That means what is the value of P here? P is equal to uh, one, I think 1 lakh 60,000, right? So 1 lakh 60,000. So P is equal to 1 lakh 60,000. Okay. So all things you can just automatically also satisfy, right? 160, 24, 36, all are 15, 15 percent here. Okay. So that's a great concept behind this, right? And you can remember one more thing from here is one more cash question can be asked that the total difference between SI and CI after third year is 12.8. How do you get this 12.8 here? You add all the difference B plus B plus B plus C. So total difference after delta 3 we can write difference between SI and CI after three years is equal to 3B plus C. 3B plus C. Okay. This you can solve uh, quite easily all these questions, right? Where B is the difference between S I and C only after second year, and C is the twenty per R percent of B. Okay, so all these concepts are very useful. I hope you got all this funda. Okay, thank you for watching, guys.